Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Kaplan Pixie. My name is Monique and welcome back. Today's episode is all about cannabis plants. You see one behind me, that's my newest edition. And this guy I had for about a bit over a year. I blend in a little picture, it had the it had about two or three, four leaves when I first got it. And look at it now. So this type is Nemphinus vetricosa. Anyone that knows about cannabis plants and I haven't pronounced it right, please forgive me. So yeah, just to share a few things these guys are um, growing in Southeast Asia we have some in Australia Philippines China tropical regions all over the world and yeah they are also called um, monkey cups as you can see down before the monkeys actually drink water out of them that's why these plants are also called monkey cups so yeah so basically the pitches they have a nectar on them which attracts insects and then they will crawl onto it and fall into the pitcher and the pitcher has like digestive juices inside it. Don't make the mistake and take a dead fly and put it in the pitcher. No good. I tried that and the pitcher died. So it's got to be, it will find its own food. With the soil in these plants, I'm not sure. They can't handle normal potting mix. You have to either make a mixture out of sphagnum moss, orchard barks and perlite. Mine are just an orchard park bark and a bit of perlite. Some people have them in pure sphagnum moss. That works as well. And I'll put mine on a little trellis here to give it some support. As they grow older, they will climb. This is a little bit wobbly. It sits in my east facing window, gets a little bit of morning sun. They can handle a little bit of direct sun, but only a few hours, so don't have them in full sun. They should be under patio or a shade cloth. I have it inside because my patio is just, it gets the afternoon sun and it's way too hot for it. So I have it indoors. I just bought this one recently, about a week ago. Not quite sure where I'm gonna place this guy. Probably also in an east facing window, similar conditions to this one. Also, if you would like to try I can obviously plan the Nymphensis vetricosa I heard and read is apparently the one for beginners so I have a beginner plan here and she's going really well I think the lifespan is somewhere between 15 and 20 years and what else is there to say Humidity, this plant loves humidity. I don't miss them. I have a humidifier in my lounge room and they are surrounded by other plants which creates a natural humidity. So I don't have the humidifier running all the time but every now and then I'll turn it on. For quite some time this guy did not produce any pitches. And 
I think it was because the humidity was just too low. An indication that this plant needs more humidity is when they stop producing their pitches. But it started producing few pitches. They take quite some time, a few months to develop. Once they die off, you can just cut them off. And with the watering, I sometimes bottom water it. I sort of look at the plant. So never let your plant dry out fully. They don't like to be dry. They like to be kept moist, so that's why sphagnumus is perfect. So if you're not, it doesn't like to be sitting. I guess you can treat it a little bit like an orchid, orchid, orchid. <laughs> so they don't like wet feet, but they like to be moist. So put it in a, if you have the um, wood box, like I have. That's mainly my plant mix, just like really chunky wood mix and a little bit of perlite in between. I, you can either let the water run through the pot and out of the bottom and then you place it back in the pot. Or you have it deep enough, you can see just for example is a bit wobbly. See the size of this pot and this is so even if the water drips through it won't sit in the actual water. So yeah that's just what I do but make sure it's not sitting in it doesn't have wet feet let's say it like that. Yeah, I'll just show you this other guy. It's a Bosiana hybrid Bosiana Corsvatia. I seen it in the plant shop in Perth. It called Hello Houseplant and I just couldn't walk past it. Look at the size of the picture. It's like the size of my head absolutely amazing this plant i will because we coming up to autumn winter i won't touch this plant i'll just leave it it has like a really good um potting mix as well not potting mix um like bark chips what i'm gonna do is dust off the leaves and find the spot I think I might place it on my shelf and then come spring I will pot it into a bigger pot. Have you got a cannabis plant? Comment in the comment box below, let me know. Have you got any tips for me? For these guys, I'd love to know. I just think they're amazing. When I walked <laughs> through the shopping center with this plant, <laughs> quite some people looked at me like, whoa, what is that? But yeah, I absolutely love it. Monkey cup. Well, a lot of people said different things. You can comment below what you would call it. <laughs> I'm not getting into that. I hope you liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay plenty. Bye.